And the dogs has finally been let out. We now have the update with the Bloodhounds, the DLC, and we have the new patch going. And there's stuff I see here that wasn't addressed in the patch notes, but um, the font on the Hunter Mate for some reason has changed. I, I don't know why that was important for whatever reason, but it has. We're going to be testing the Bloodhounds. We're going to see if we can find anything about them, and we're going to go over the known issues with the bloodhounds that ew has released that they know about in this video if you're new to my channel and you want more daily call of the wild content make sure to hit that subscribe button the first one you get is gonna be free anything after that at least on the beta was forty-five thousand credits it's not gonna be an issue for me sitting around five mil right now but a lot of people might think that is a pretty steep investment bloodhounds are known for their incredible sense of smell making them great friends for hunters yada 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 let's just see here which one is gonna look the best we have the liver and tan full coat Liver and tan saddle. I think we're gonna go with one of the saddle ones. I kind of like that. Red and liver pigmented. Red and black pigmented. Black and tan saddle. Oh, that's probably gonna have to be that one. Oh, that's actually not too bad either. Not too bad either. Is there a lot of difference? Uh, a little bit of size and a little bit on the face, it seems. But I think the first one we're gonna go for is gonna be a uh, black and tan saddle. No. I actually prefer this one. I actually prefer this one. Your little more black variant. And uh, we're going to be uh, buying this. Once you buy it, guys, I've seen this issue with quite a few people already. There, you need to name your dog. Because else it's just going to be uh, showing up as Bloodhound, apparently. And there is no way to change it. So please don't mess this up. We're going to go with the first one of ours is going to be Sam. I want a dog that's named Sam. And, um... A lot of you guys probably don't know this, but um, my good friend who passed away last year, one of the fellow the streamers in the uh, Call of the Wild area, Biggie the Hunter's real name was uh, Sam. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a way for me to carry the legacy of my friend on here in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Okay, we have Sam here now, and we uh, set him as active, and then hopefully... We have a dog! Hey, Sam! How do we, uh... End up using a doggo, then? Oh, hold B to interact. Oh, oh, oh! I'm petting you all, all kind of crazy right here. Let's go! <laughs> Let me try again. Uh, okay, so if we just double tap B, we get a pet. That's, that's nice to know. So we just stand around and spam this for a little while. <laughs> oh, nice. If we just hit B... Actually, you just have to hit B. You don't even even have to hold it down. Anyway, let's get the wheel up and see here. We can make him stay, lay down, play, pet, and... Huh. I like that. It does seem to me... Let's get rid of that hunter mate. Oh, we can praise it. Aww. I, I, I don't know what that's good for, but yay! We praised it. Can you sit? Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Doggo be good oh. Um, lay down. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seems to be listening better than my kid. Okay, we can track, we can have it stay, we can have it heal. And, um, yeah, that's not too bad. Let's go. Now, let's see if we can do anything. However, EW has decided to release the, uh, patch with these bloodhounds. Well, knowing that there is some pretty major bugs with them. I'm just gonna read out here what EW has explained that there is going on. Which, uh, honestly, is a little bit of a surprise to me that they didn't try to fix before. But, on the other hand, we did get the uh, sim release that we all hoped for. So, uh, I suppose it's the uh, lesser of the two evils? I don't know. EW released a known issues March 2021 list. And there is the known box about the hunting dog features. We're working to see these resolved in the next patch. Well, good thing EW releases patches all the time or something. Crashes and legs. Common. Crash when user orders a dog to track within 50 meters of a duck or goose corpse. Dang. 
I actually thought they would be helpful for uh, tracking down goose. Guess I was wrong. Very common weird stutter in camera movement when you user pets the dog. I think we just saw that in uh, uh, the petting of uh, Sam just a moment ago. Common incorrect dog icon shown in the UI for certain actions. Rare dog not following and walking towards the user too obediently. Rare dog slow to notify a user of a harvest by barking at the animal's corpse. Oh, and another thing. We should be um, able to go and check out our leaderboards again. That's actually exciting. I can't wait to see where you guys are ranked at. At least those of you who are on uh, lucky enough to be on my friend list. Let's see here. <sighs> Let's go with the biggest Rocky Mountain. Oh. No? Dang. Well, it, it was listed in the patch notes. Don't don't blame that on me, guys. And just to run over a few of the other big bug fixes and improvements that EW posted of known issues. Coming soon, fixed white-tailed deers more than 100 kilo will now register as great ones. Oh, how funny that we just got told it was overweight diamonds and not great ones. And it turns out it was actually great ones in the first place. Ah. Huh. Guess I was right all along then. Apparently that is going to be fixed in the next major update. So uh, does that finally mean that we will have the great ones being working again? We can certainly hope so. Uh, they also fixed that backpacks were visible in the first person camera. And then there is a uh, heaps of other stuff. I'm going to be uh, posting a picture of it all on the Discord if you want to check it out. What they have said and you don't want to be part of the EW official Discord server. Or you might have just uh, gotten the biggest, oldest yeeters from that place. Anyway, let's get into some actual hunting and see what this uh, doco is good for. We have a uh, plains bison out there. If we can get him to turn around, we should be able to... I just want to try to see if we can get a somewhat of a... Uh, are you gonna turn? Oh, you're alert. I don't know if I like the new font. I'm not sure about that. It doesn't seem like the uh, traveling alert and, and such has changed. But the trophy score and the planes bison and HP does seem to have had uh, a little bit of a change to things. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> well, it's probably just a question of getting used to it anyway we have a uh, aggressive uh, bison running here i'm pretty sure we did get an intestine shot are you coming hello are you dying apparently not maybe we we need to shoot it again let's try with this should be intestine it's actually just a flesh wound well have this then i didn't hit that uh, it's dropping now Nice, that is going to be perfect to at least get to try out if this little doggo is going to do anything good. Are, are you going to die? No? Shaking your head. Still being aggressive. Oh, hopefully one time. Oh, now it's dropping a little more. Scat found! Ah! It found something. Now it's idling again. We had the uh, impact down here, so if we go up here and try to uh, use the track feature in this area. It should uh, just go directly there and show us how everything is done, right? Let's see. Hey! Searching for blood. A good dog right there. Level up! It's gonna be interesting to see if it's actually gonna go to the corpse. Because I do believe it's gonna die somewhere around here, right? There we go. Hey! You're searching. I, I can literally show you the blood right there, dude. Come on. Nice. Good dog. Um, one of the issues that I've heard about this that did not seem to be listed in the uh, patch notes or the uh, known bug fixes was that I heard Flinter had a ton of issues as soon as his dog went to max level. Oh, yeah. I... Uh, uh. You, you could have saved some time. It's fine. It's it's fine. You're, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. I'm very happy. You're doing a great job. Come on. Let's go. At least you look somewhat cute. Um, but whenever his dog reached like maximum level, it turned into being super slow motion. And um, 
if that's gonna be the case, well, that's basically gonna render the entire dog useless once you get at max level. I need to get my own dog up there to at least get to test it out, if that is gonna be the case. But if, if that actually turns out to be a uh, thing, and it has not been addressed, and it hasn't even been acknowledged yet by EW, that's really, really bad. But, um... I don't know if Flinner was just unlucky on the beta or if that is actually something that uh, we need to be uh, really concerned about. Because if that's going to be the case, I'm, I'm not going to be too happy with it. We're going to take a look at the uh, the traits and such that I'm pretty sure I'll uh, have my dog have. I think for the most part, I'm just going to go for all the companion stuff just to make it... I don't know. I wanted a companion. And right now I do have a companion running around with me out here and I've been wanting that for a while and uh, as we saw It is gonna be saving me so much time dragging already um, Is can I block it? Oh, oh a strong doggo. Holy Jeez, he just pushing me out the way Nice, let's see come on come on Yeah did you find it? What, have you found it? Um. Yay! Good dog! Such a good little doggo. Let's go. You're, you're good. Can can we pet you? Uh, oh, we need to be closer. There we go. They actually do get different things. Oh, no, no? Okay. There, Hey, can can I pet you? Uh, um, pet. Pet! Dude! Hello! Stay! Okay, let, let me pet you for your good work right here. Can... I, I have no... It's a dude! Okay, sit! Sit! Sit. Thank you. Good dog. Now let me pet you. There we go. Good job. Oh, no. Awesome. Well, now this one might have just rotten away, but look at that. Flesh, flesh, flesh. We ended up... What was that? We ended up finding our uh, kill due to the help of our very, very good doggo right there. Now he's lying down as well. Can I just... No, if you hit B on distance, it goes to healing. Ah. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the uh, the different traits and such. As we saw on the stream, there is going to be different... Uh, at level 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And apparently you can get the uh, companion to level 15. You can get tracking to level 15. So you have to decide. And there is no going to be no way where you can be changing them around once you picked it. At least not as I saw. Um, you can Your dog can skip detour tracks in favor of more recent clues. Or you have an even more loving relationship with your dog. Which increases its overall bond. I'm going to go for this one. On the, especially on this one because this is going to be my companion dog. At level 10 you get to choose between 6th sense. Your dog has a higher chance of sensing when animals are about to be spooked. Or nosy increases the distance at which your dog can find a blood clue. Level 15. Your dog will howl like a wolf on command. Or your dog is better at picking up the scent from smaller blood clues. Level 20, sharp. Your dog is naturally more willing to work and has it increased focus. Spotted. Your dog has a chance to highlight the wounded animal you're tracking. This is a pretty cool feature, but it's also going to be... If you're tracking something that's running away, wounded, um, you probably already ruined the animal if it's going to be bleeding out before you get to it. So this might actually be able to save you a diamond or something if you end up getting a flesh wound on a diamond. So uh, this, I definitely see this one being very, very useful. Um, 25, close. Your dog has a higher chance of staying close to you. Poop dar. Your dog has a higher chance to find fresh pooping, uh, fresh poopings, droppings while when idle. Um, and level 30, your dog has a chance to ward off predator attacks. And uh, Master Tracker, your dog has a small chance to find the harvest without needing to follow the trail. Let's get leveling this doggo! And you'll find me doing that on Twitch tonight. Make sure to go follow, link down below. Thank you so much for watching.